Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel, man. Yeah, I'm just gonna jump right into this video because I am super stoked about this game from Ubisoft called X Defiant, and I just like talking about it for my impressions, my experiences with the game so far. So I'm just gonna jump right into this, man. So I just wanna do a video on the on the classes, or actually I think they're called factions. Now I played the crossover test this past weekend. It was about three days worth of gameplay. I did a video on that here on the channel. I'll put the link up there if you missed it because I kind of want to know what you guys think about the video and about the gameplay that you've seen. Or maybe you tried it yourself on the crossover test. I'm just curious what you guys think as well. So, that being said, man, so I just want to break down the factions. Now, when I played this, there was four out of the five factions that what I believe is supposed to be available at launch time and i'm gonna say this man i love what they are doing with this game man i like the way they're going with this because personally and from my experience i've never seen a game do this before they have created these factions that are actually associated with five with factions from their previous titles and i'm talking about big titles so the five factions the cleaners Dead Sec, Phantoms, Echelon, and Libertad. I'm not Spanish, so I'm, I'm probably not saying it with the Spanish tw uh, twang on it. You know what I'm saying, guys? But y'all know what I'm saying, all right? <laughs> That's tough. But yeah, so when I played from all the factions except for the cleaners, but from what I understand, the cleaners, they are from the Ubisoft or Tom Clancy's The division one and division two game now these guys from what i understand they are supposed to be very hardcore attacking mode fighters and from what it says on the ubisoft x defiant site they solved their problems with fire so i'm just imagining since we couldn't play it in the crossover uh test i imagine they're gonna have some of the same fire elements that you would see if you played the game uh, Tom Clancy The Division. So I've played that game before I had a YouTube channel, but I did play the game before. And I remember the cleaners, man. They were like these robust, freaking hardcore fighters. They heavily armored, heavily heavy firepower, and they freaking would wreck shop. They had flamethrowers. I think you could even have the turret that was like a flamethrower turret and all this kind of stuff and i'm just imagining having that in the game or have you been able to play as a cleaner in the game i can just imagine the the type of abilities and strengths that that kind of fighter operator will have in this game on to next the next one i want to talk about is the Dead Sec Faction. The Dead Sec Faction is from the Ubisoft game Watch Dogs. Now, guys, I've played, of course, I'm sure a lot of you guys played Watch Dogs before. And here's the interesting thing. The Dead Sec Operators, or the Fighters. I did remember playing this in a game, and you have some hacking abilities. You can hack, I mean, I was able to hack enemy or the the opposing team gadgets you know what i'm saying guys imagine you going through you playing first a first person shooter and you actually going in there and hacking the defenses maybe the offensive um even the opposing team abilities to where they cannot actually use their abilities for a duration of time and that to me was a freaking game changer not only that this faction also has this awesome robot that i was actually able to remotely engage and it would it would i would watch the little robot sit over there and like go and seek out enemies kind of like call of duty when you hit when you had that uh what's that the kill streak uh, the, the dog kill streak you hit you know what i'm saying that kill streak the dogs come out and start looking for bad guys to hunt down and kill yo this little robot was going crazy the little robot would sit there and attach itself to one of the fighters and do some kind of disruption mechanism. And then I was able to go down for a kill because they were so disoriented by this robot from DeadSec. They had no idea what was going on and I would get so many kills like that. So 
I think that faction is going to be a very cool faction, probably for like a player who likes to, you know, disrupt the enemy and find different ways to, you know, get an angle on them without actually having to um, present themselves to that enemy. You know what I'm saying, guys? So that being said, the next faction is the Phantoms, man. The Phantom faction class. Guy, I played with this faction as well. They're from the game Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon. Now, guys, man, I remember playing this in the in the in the alpha test, and oh my god, dude, so, the, the, the Phantoms, in my opinion, they're gonna be those hardcore guys. They're gonna be. I think I would consider them like a tank because they have this temporary shield that you can kind of throw down, and it lasts about ten, maybe twelve seconds, if I remember correctly, and you can actually shoot through that same shield yourself as a anyone on the team can shoot through that and hit targets but at the same time the opposing team cannot penetrate the shield that honestly that was the only ability that i could actually play with with that faction but it just made me realize man where they're going with this and i love it man because dude i can just imagine playing this game as that phantom faction and throwing down that target and enemy has nothing they can really do nothing except for try to outflank you or maybe it can be destroyed with like a grenade or actually it probably could be destroyed with an emp grenade which is an available grenade type so you know maybe a secondary grenade type so that might be the counter for that but the Phantoms, I think they're going to be the tanks, and uh, I just can't wait to play with them as well. Now, next thing, the Echelon Faction. Oh my god, yo, I love talking about this faction. This faction is from the game Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell, and I gotta say this, man. I This was probably the faction I enjoyed playing with the most, for two reasons. Reason number one... One of their abilities you can choose is a temporary, uh, kind of like a, I would say it's kind of like a recon drone. If you think about it, like a Call of Duty perspective, you can hit that uh, as a ability with this faction, Splinter Soul faction called Echelon, and it will actually create a radar around yourself and it moves with you and it will ping any enemy that is close to you and put it on the mini map man i i thought that was freaking fantastic i got a bunch of kills just by knowing where the enemy is and they have no idea right not only that the second thing i love is the special ability the special ability for the echelon faction man you can actually put on the sam fisher goggles baby yes sir man i freaking love doing that during the alpha test bro when you put those goggles on, you you activate the special ability. You will see enemies behind cover, behind walls, behind engine blocks, behind anything. And it would outline enemies from the opposing team in a red silhouette. And you just one shot, one kill with a silenced pistol, for example, and they will go down. Dude, I can't tell y'all how many kills I got using this faction this special ability is probably the only it's probably like i said it's the one that i play with the most i tr i play with all four given the time that i had to play the game and i want to say echelon was my favorite just because of that just very useful so um the next one is or actually last but not least the libertad faction from the ubisoft game far cry i want to say far cry 6 but Later in the game, they may have other elements from past Far Cry games, but I just recall seeing a lot of elements from Far Cry 6. Like the, what do you call it? I, there's a name for them, but I want to consider these this faction as like a healer type faction. So you can actually take some pills as an ability and it will grant you more health and it will regenerate health as a passive ability. Not only that, you can actually go in and set down this healing device and have it heal your teammates. 
So, I would consider them as a defensive and offensive if you think about it from a perspective like that. Not only that, but if you think about it, just like, for example, I think you're showing it right here. You can kind of see on this um, gameplay example with the health ability. Man, it was freaking, it was awesome, guys. Um, I had a real fun time playing with all these factions. We did not get to play with the cleaners from the from Tom Clancy's The Division game, but I can just imagine how awesome it's going to be at launch, and I can just imagine how this game is going to be at launch. And I'm gonna be real with you guys, man. I'm not just I'm not just saying this just to sound okay about it, but I'm just I'm just super stoked, man. Especially after playing that crossover test this weekend i cannot tell you how much see right here right here that is a splinter cell special ability right there you just seen it on this gameplay video just now man when that happened dude i was like oh i'm about to go crazy right now because i was able to see every enemy on the map that i was looking at behind cover i ran over there one shot one kill i would get multiple kills my my favorite one so far now that may change when the game launches and honestly we i don't think we know when the game will actually launch yet but that is cool man they're just taking their time with this game and making it the best that it can be and i like like i said i like where they're going with this so that being said guys i actually hope you really enjoyed this video a little breakdown of the faction so far let me know in the comments and give the video a thumbs up if you like the video. See you on the next one. Peace.